You know when there are people who smoked cigarettes their entire lives and they decide to quit smoking and they're successful in quitting smoking, how they'll sometimes become a total anti-smoker. They'll, they'll want to do everything they can to try to encourage people to stop smoking. Um, now, usually this only lasts a, a, a period of time. And then they, they calm down about it. And I, I am in a similar sort of thing, but when it comes to elements of sexuality. For 17 years, I revolved my identity and my life around my sexuality and my fetishes, which was... You know, I was in the gaining scene, not gaming, but gaining, and it has to do with weight gain and a fat fetish and such. And I kind of ruined my life with that fetish. I, I, I destroyed my body, at least the appearance of it anyway. Hopefully I'll be, I'll continue to be healthier, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I was almost 300 pounds, and, you know, at, at the end of 2017, I realized how crazy the whole thing was. Why was I doing this? Why am I doing something that's so unhealthy and trying to prop it up as something positive? Um, and so I've been trying to watch myself to not become like the, the, the ex-smoker who, who goes on rampages against people who smoke, right? I've been trying to not do that, to not get into that mindset, but sometimes it's hard. And it's also sometimes, it's, it's become harder as time goes on to view those who revolve their life and their identity around their sexuality, it's hard to not view that in a negative light for me. I, I'm, I'm hoping I eventually get over this, that, that, I'm, that I'm not going to be like one of those rampant anti-smokers, right? I, I don't want to be like that. But sometimes it's hard, you know? I, and I know that there are more healthy types of sexuality out there than having a fat fetish, right? Um, so, you know, not all sexualities are created equally. <laughs> so, but, you know, stopping my, stopping the whole fetish thing has allowed me to view my life much differently allowed me to have different sets of priorities. And I'm happy about that. And I do wish there was a way that I could spread that type of thing to others in a way that's, that's, a, that's more of a positive thing, but I'm not really sure how to do that. So, so this has affected my views of a lot of things uh, when it comes to LGBT activism. It, it has affected my views, and I'm trying really, really hard not to be a bigot. Because it's, it's, it's easy to be a bigot. It's easy. It's the lazy thing to do. 